Welcome to what is or will probably be the last episode. I don't know if I'll just merge this with the l previous episode or if this will be a proper episode. So if you're watching this at the beginning, hello there. And yes, this will be the very last episode of the series because, well, for starters, Athens apparently is close to a victory, even though they lost Athens. They must be attacking Macedon or something and conquering stuff elsewhere. But in regards to conquering, we have conquered Githion. In Sparta, we are just recruiting a unit of allied hoplites. In two turns, we will be able to march north. And speaking of marching north, we have this army that actually, they arrived. They attacked this captain. And we will go around here to attack Tegea. Should be good for us. On the south, on the island, in Kithara, there's a massive, massive army of Perekoi hoplites. I don't want to bother attacking them, because in two turns, they'll have to surrender or sally out to attack me. And if they sally out to attack me, oh boy, I'll be happy. But, over on the east, yeah, absolutely nothing as well. Sparta is done for. If we look at the ledger... So... Militarily, plonk, I just killed basically all of their armies, apparently. Production, they have none now. Territory, they just lost quite a bit. Financially, just, just they're bankrupt. They have nothing. Population, they just lost a teeny tiny bit. Apparently, they did not have much to begin. Hmm. And overall, yeah, they're bad. But comparing to Athens, Athens is actually turning back up. Militarily, they're okay. Production, they're okay. How, how is that, or are they, or do they have the object to, objective to also eliminate Sparta? I don't know. Financially, we're just the best. I just, I, I had a lot of buildings at the same turn. Uh, a lot of buildings, a lot of, uh, a lot of cities actually evolved to the next level on the same terms, so I had to waste a lot of money that turn. And population is skyrocketing. Almost 200,000. It's quite a lot. And overall, why did we go down in overall? When everything is just going up. Oh, maybe the financial. Never mind. The family tree, well, it's boring. I never look at it because why would I? Uh, it's 12 turns per year, so it takes forever for anyone to grow up to be of age, so whatever. So, let us, on, let us continue on with the faction Defeat of Sparta. That was a weird sentence, but it's a sentence I chose to go with. Yeah, let us continue on with defeating Sparta. Two provinces in the north, one in the west, and one in the south, which is an island. Let's get to it. Welcome to the island of Kithara. Yes, apparently it is a proper island. They, on the very last turn, decided to sally out. I have no archers, so I'm gonna have to fight them all one by one until we win. So, first things first, I drop my rams, and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna make a big, big line over here. My two hoplites over there, these two hoplites over there, cavalry to the right over there, get them off of that, and the general stay right there. Uh, okay, everyone run please, because I need you guys in position as quickly as possible. Are they not gonna sally out? Oh yes, they are. Some javelin men, first things first. If they're just attacking with javelin men, I can just... Use my own ghost. Okay, never mind that. Never mind that order. Oh, 
I don't want you guys to take extra casualties unnecessarily. Plus, I don't want to get too close to the towers, otherwise they'll just start shooting at me. But the Perioc actually do look marvelous. Really marvelous. Alright, if you're not gonna... If you're not gonna do anything... I'll just go and charge at you. And whoever else is left, I'll just move forward. I don't know what the hell they're trying to do, but it's not good. Right, because they have to form a conga line to actually get back into the city. I'll just charge them all. Hopefully get into the city and then... We'll be done with this. Yeah, it's going to be a big inferno for them. Just so many militia hoplites just ganging up on you. It is unbelievable. Everyone, onto those lads. I don't think they will survive. Yeah, these are tactics that normally people never use, but we are so so close to the to the victory that you can say, why the hell not? Just charge them all. What can they do? Charge back? Nah, that 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 doesn't work. They can try and hold, that's for certain, but that's also not going to work. And now I can just rush on forwards and try and take their city center, which is just tiny. This is a tiny settlement. But yeah, fighting on... We are pushing them back, that's for certain. It's taking a bit. Might as well bring my general forward for incentive purposes. And I, I have 13 units of militia hoplites, which is the equivalent for their periokoi, but I have upgrades on my on all my units. And with the with the mass that all of my units have against the Against just a well, what is basically a single file of men. Yeah, I don't think they'll win, to be honest. Not in the slightest. It's actually taking a bit longer than I thought it would. At least my general is gonna come back here. Glad to see the enemy routing. <laughs> oh, my men are ruthless. I might be overtaking casualties. You're still fighting, though. You're still fighting a lot. You're gonna do something cheeky here. Because there's only one location where we can get inside for now, which is this. But they are holding onto it with tooth and nails. So I'm gonna grab a couple of my militia hoplites, bring them back, grab a battering ram, put it there, another one, put it there. That way we'll have two alloways to go into. Yeah, we're not gonna get inside the city the city through here. Unfortunately, not. But I do have to keep all of them. I'm guessing that they are helping each other with the morale. So that's good.
Further than that, not much. Can I... Can I get my men over here? Alright, all of you do that. Oh my, okay, the tower shot me, unfortunately. Yeah, we are able to shoot at them. Because of the height that my cavalry has, you can actually shoot quite well against them. You to there. You... One day you'll understand that you need to be behind the battering ram to actually grab it. You're still not... Or are you using the ram? Now they're still trying to get on in front of it. Go for the other one then. That one apparently is mildly glitched. Yeah, just use all the javelins you can. I mean, you already killed quite a good chunk of them. Amazing. Okay, then. Marvelous stuff. You still have a javelin, right? Or... No, they're done. Okay. They're still holding on to the gate. Which is unfortunate. Oh, f finally, they... They actually got the ram working. Oh, and we routed the unit. Oh, we're pouring through! Mm, but I don't think it will account too much. Right, grab these three units. Gonna have them be fresh for. Um, for when we actually attack the this wall. I'm gonna have to repair the wall after this, but whatever. And the bathroom ram is approaching that other side. Maybe we won't need the battering rams after all. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? We just pushed on through. No problems. Okay, can we... From a line or something now we are we will be unable to do such a thing until there's absolutely no unit actually annoying us. Got a smile on us today. Okay, the good. walls are broken. Our troops should be ordered forward. So we have four of them. Let's have them all form up on this side there's no there's no one on that side of the of the city there seriously you're fighting a unit already why do you why do you want to attack someone over here you just sent Steve along and he died they just sent Steve and he died poor Steve Okay, they are quite angry. 
They're really angry. Right, just go on ahead and charge them. Not much that we can do. We're gonna sustain a good chunk of casualties, but I'm quite okay with them. It's on the militia unit. Oh, and we're making them rout. Don't you dare try and follow them up when there's still a unit right in front of you. Hey, that's a mass route if ever I've seen one. The way into the city is open for our soldiers. Okay, Marvelous. Come on, drop the ram. There you go. Well, there's not much that we can do now, is there? What was the point of knocking down the bloody walls if we just with brute force just pushed our way into the into the city. Alright then. I'm I'm fairly okay with this. Keep on charging at them, actually everyone. Go and charge the one in the middle. Go go go. It's just a big big mass of orange bodies. Just pouring through. Look at that marvelous stuff. Yeah, they're just routing at the sight of me. That's incredible. Right. Not much that I can do other than just charge. The city does not give much space for maneuver, so go right on the head, lads. You, though, stand back. You've done way too much fighting. Who's being shot at? Do they have... Oh, they have javelin men. Okay, then. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Okay, um, what are you doing? Can you, can you actually go around like so? Okay, get my general close to my troops. Yeah, they don't know what to do. There's just way too many of them. Now, I know we shouldn't be doing tactics like these, but... Eh. It is what it is. And I don't really want to send my allied hoplites for because I don't know if we'll be able to actually replenish them. And we actually have a routing unit. Unfortunate. I mean, the general is not that good of a general, he's just just been promoted. It's not the best, but that's quite okay. Everyone else, other than you, keep on charging. You lands at the back. Come over here. I have a plan for you. Oh, I have, I have a sneaky plan. It's not that sneaky. We're just gonna go around and kill them. And... There we go. Forward you go. Forward you go. You're not gonna turn around that way. No. Okay, good. Forward you go, and forward you go. There's only so much that a frontal assault can actually do, especially when they just touch this little line and come back into the fight. 
Oh. Have filled the enemy general with fear. Now he Why? The field like a coward. Why is it that every time that I try and do some manner of tactics, the game just decides, you know what, we're gonna give you one. And I can just charge right on the head. Why? And we killed the general as well. The enemy general is killed! Fear makes a home in our enemy's hearts! Okay, let's get the party started. Yeah, there's not much that he can do. They're now gonna mostly have infinite morale. How do you guys still have javelins? How? After all this time, you guys still have javelins to throw at me. Eh, at least we're winning, which is all that counts. Are they firing at my general? No, they're not. Okay. Where are you guys run? Really, you decided to run through the tower? God damn. Alright, you lads. Get out of the fight. No point in having you fight anymore. So everyone but you go and fight. And basic victory is already ours, so just just do this. Otherwise it's just gonna take forever to actually accomplish a victory here. We killed ninety-two percent of them already. We need to kill a hundred. Come on. You can do it. Anyone needs to pull to be pulled back? No, good. Come on, keep on charging. What are you guys doing? And there we go. There we go. And the guy shut up. Thank god, I don't like him talking. Casualties inflicted. 150. 140. 184! Marvelous stuff, and now we have the island! So, a couple of turns have passed since our conquest of Kithra. We are besieging Kardamile, and we are besieging Tegea both at the same time. We have sent our heir to the throne, our lovely Elpidis the Conqueror, to actually go and try and conquer Mantinea, which is currently the Spartan capital. Along the way, they've faced a couple of just a stupid amount of soldiers, a stupidly small amount of soldiers. I already resolved then we got two, two casualties on my Cretan archers. It's way, probably way better than what I would have had, and I don't really mind. Over here, this, this family member that's just been going back and forth for a couple of turns, so I'm not too worried that he'll attack Sparta. So, if he does, whatever, I don't really care, I have so much stuff around here that he probably would not survive for too long, even if, if he takes Sparta back, which I doubt he will. And, yeah, that is about it. Our campaign is nearly at an end. And... Hopefully we will get. Hopefully we will get the the revenge for Epimenon. This is a campaign over here in Mantinea, and that is it. So let us continue on with the campaign and let us end it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to what will be the before last transition before the end of the series. I actually wanted to do this after both of these settlements surrendered but the thing is Thessaly for whatever reason will claim victory next turn so what we'll do is we will attack the gear we'll just do the auto resolve I don't care for the losses we'll just occupy it marvelous over in Carthamile we'll assault it 
We'll take the losses, only three, okay? We'll occupy it. And now we are left with only Mantinea, which doesn't have much. But we will do this siege in honor of Epaminondas. And with this, we shall have victory. Let's get to it, lads. Welcome to the siege, and it will be the very last siege and battle for the series. We are ready. We are going to make three three holes in the wall. One in this here, one in there, one in there. And they will just rush on through. Hopefully that will be enough. They don't have as many men as it, as it was on the island. All right. Go. Go. And go. We can just triple speed because nothing will happen in the meantime. Absolutely nothing. And we'll probably will use our mercenaries most of the time. All right, you lads, will you have range over here? Yes, you will. Alright. If we are able to shoot at them, I'd rather you guys use all the ammo you have. Okay, lad, calm down. You've seen it a million times. Yeah, I'm not. Okay, thank you. Now shut up. Oof. Okay, they're coming again. And shoot again. How much that they can do is there? Especially against so many arrows just firing at one. Come on, Jesus. Okay, let's get my mercenaries forward. Are we just... Oh, good, you turned your wrong side towards me. Marvelous stuff. So we'll just kill you, if that's okay with you. You, you, and you. Back there you go. If I can use only the mercenaries to win this battle, I would be happy. And they're basically out of ammo now, so... Let's have them rush. Why don't we? I mean, everyone else is over here, but they need to defend this, and it's only being defended by... How many men is that? 17, 18, something like that. Soldiers have captured the walls. Now is the time to press on and capture this place. Okay, thank you. They're not moving. They should be moving. Just rushing on ahead. Gonna take your stuff. We're going to kill you. They don't care. They really don't care. This is the last Spartan Bastion. And they're like, eh. Whatever. I have a pompous hat. Really pompous. The most pompous hat there is. None have a more pompous hat than I have. That's basically it. That's that's how I imagine what that guy's saying. My men are shooting again. They moved a little bit, but not much. Hopefully when I get... Ah, they're finally moving. Okay, charge at... The bloody... The bloody town centers are always weird. You guys are seriously not want not wanting to fight me. Fine, I'll go and fight you then, because I want to fight you. And you know what? I don't want to hold on to this. I want you guys to go there. 
you guys to go there. You guys to go there and you guys... Everyone run, please. Yeah, they're rushing. Now they're rushing back. But it might be a little bit too late. The town is mine. I shall have it. And there's no way that they'll actually be able to take it back from us. Hey, everyone. Look behind you. Okay then. But over here... You didn't think you'd just be able to stroll right on back, did you? Only two, one, and dead. Okay. And this is the very last one. Uh, General, I want you to partake in the battle as well. Do something. Don't let just your men do the work for you. And this is not a general's bodyguard, you know, this is... Oh, oh we'll continue this. We'll kill every single one of them. For revenge, basically. This is all just for revenge. Five, four, three. There's the commander. Okay. That was... Quick. Quite quick. Incredibly quick. Right then, clear victory. Who killed the most? 66 for the Cretan Archers, 51 for the other one. They actually did quite okay. Huh, interesting. And there we go. Thebes is now a strong regional power. Its voice heard and respected throughout Greece. You have led your people well and history books will look favorably upon you. Continue playing? Yes, just for the time being. We'll continue playing, we'll occupy the settlement, and we will look at the minimap, which is now one big thing. I mean, we only connect through the mountains here, but that is quite okay. Faction destroyed, spot. I'm quite okay with this. So, this has been the campaign. It has actually been quite fun. It's a, a nice little mod. Uh, I mean, I chose... Probably one of the medium-high factions to begin, but I really do like Theban history. I mean, it's a sad history. Thebes no longer, as, as a city, I believe no longer exists. Maybe some remnants or something like that, but Alexander the Great burned it to the ground because Thebes dared to oppose him. So, yeah, unfortunate, but... You know, other than that, Thebes as a power, historically, was very, very impressive. I'll even toggle the Fog of War to see what the hell happened. Thebes actually went all the way to up here, I believe. They controlled a good, good chunk of Greece. I mean, they went, they founded the city of Megalopolis. So they were present over here in this peninsula as well. They controlled all of this. They controlled everything up here as well and Epaminondas died when he died over here in Mantinea that meant the end of the the Theban kingdom or the Theban empire whatever you want to call it because he was the only one who actually had the skills and the knowledge and the military expertise to keep them all together with his death well yeah nothing could come of it and Okay. Alright, because I had to reload the save, otherwise freaking Thessaly would be the ones to win. What else did I wanna see? Alright, I need I wanna go to Thebes. And in the Royal Barracks, we did not actually got to use these guys, but the Sacred Band Look at that. It's the best unit in the entire game. Well, in, in the entire mod. So what else is happening in Greece? Well, we took we completely control everything. Athens might say that, but we are actually 
we're, we're okay with them. There's still a couple of rebel territories, for example, over here. Argos actually only conquered this, as far as I can tell. The ones who almost got killed as well were the Arcadians. They lost a good chunk of their territory. These guys from Olympia actually did quite okay. And the Messinians also did quite okay. Over on the islands, what the hell does Athens have? They still have Andros. They still have Skiros. They still have... However you say that. They actually have a good chunk of northern Greece. They took some from Macedonia. Oh, so that's why Thessaly was winning. They... Yeah, they absolutely butchered Macedon. They tore them apart. Epros did nothing as far as I can tell. These guys did okay. They basically destroyed this kingdom. No one dared to actually attack th these guys after I dealt with them. Because I didn't want to go more over here. Because as you can see, look at what I had to defend. I had to defend this one. This one. This one and this one. I could, however, go to the bridges. But that would be very far away from my city and very close to there so mm, no thank you other than this oh Corinth is still alive here but Athens took it still have this yeah a town so where else is Corinth located ah, there you go and yeah, that's their capital all right then so other than us, Thessaly actually did quite okay. They start off as a big, big powerhouse, so not too impressed by them. But us, we actually did quite okay. We we won the game, so that's a starter. And we actually did everything properly. And the last province we took? Mantinea. So, with the conquest of the city where Epaminondas died, I bid you all farewell, and I thank you all for watching. And... If you guys want to suggest any other series that I, that you guys want me to do in the original Rome, because I'm not doing anything other than the original Rome from now on, do please suggest. I'm open to any mods. So if you guys want me to to do any mod, just tell me, hey, I should do this faction with this mod and hit me up in the comments. It's good for the algorithm and it's good for me because I know that you guys are interested in my commentary and my let's play and whatever so i thank you to all of you who stay tuned to the series hope you all have enjoyed it it was published in one full day as promised like netflix does with his series so i hope you guys enjoy this type of video publishing on my channel so until the next one which i don't know when that will be but until the next one you, you guys will know because you will have about seven, eight, nine, ten videos on your dashboard from me on that single day. So I thank you to all who watched this series and has enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you have liked the series. And I will see you guys on another one, hopefully soon. Bye-bye.